Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I think we start now, lah, huh? Almost time already, lah. Huh? I don't want to drag so long, lah, huh? Okay. Uh, tonight we are going to start with uh, a new chapter in your form five. A new chapter, lah. Huh? Every time I start now, the people come in, man. Huh? Okay. So we are going to do chapter three. Okay, you remember not in your form five, lah. Huh? Your chapter one is wave, wave for the one we have done already. Your chapter two is electricity, electricity also we have done. The one all mostly a calculation now, electricity. And tonight we are going to start chapter three, okay? Chapter three, the title is electromagnetism, okay? Electromagnetism, huh? Okay, come, let's look at the paper now, huh? Okay, I'm going to share the paper with you. Okay, uh, can see the paper now? Big already now. Yeah, I try it again now. Huh? All right. You see anything or not? No paper, right? And your mind, I take out the paper now, okay? The paper disappeared already. Okay, uh, can you see? Can you see the paper? Uh, this is the set of paper you should have with you, uh, right? Okay. Right, the title is Electromagnetism. You see, Electromagnetism. Uh, okay. All right. Let them come in first, lah. Uh, but still, from time to time, I still got people who want to come in. Alright, okay, come. First, uh, what is electromagnetism? Uh, when you see the words, Electromagnetism means uh, combining two words, you know. One is electric. Okay, now my, let me take out pen first. Uh. Okay, first one is electric. You no, know, another one come in Farahana. And the second one is magnetic. So meaning they got two. Uh. Electromagnetism means actually combining electric and magnetic so when two things combine now uh, so it become electromagnetism okay right your lesson one is analyzing magnetic effect of a current carrying conductor meaning that now uh, what you are going to study in this lesson one is what happened to the conductor the wire when current flow inside the conductor okay so in other words means uh, when current flow into a conductor or maybe i say 
when a wire is conducting electric right it can produce magnetic one you know this is how we call it the title is analyzing the magnetic effect of a current carrying conductor means uh, when a conductor is carrying current it can produce magnet okay right okay our lesson start with this uh, what is ferromagnetic material can you read yourself what is ferromagnetic material now two of them want to come in I say Xiao now only come hmm? okay ferromagnetic material okay are the material highlight attracted by magnet that's it anything that can be attracted by magnet uh, we call it ferromagnetic material uh. there are so many things in this world can be attracted by magnet correct not so the material can be attracted by magnet we call it ferromagnetic material okay example are uh, iron uh, nickel uh, cobalt uh, all these are the material uh, easily can be attracted by magnet okay so iron nickel cobalt are uh, ferromagnetic material okay right the next one is electromagnetic uh, this is a real thing you are going to study what is electromagnet okay in a very sim simple way i explain to you uh, electromagnet means uh, is a magnet produced by electric when we allow electric to flow in a through a wire right the whole wire become magnet so we call it electromagnet because uh, this magnetism is produced by magnet when you have current then you have magnet so magnet produced by electric current we call it electromagnet okay okay please highlight here what is electromagnet it's a device in which magnetism produced by electric current understand it's very important you must know this huh? it's a device where the magnetism produced by electric current okay so an electric magnet acts as a temporary magnet temporary magnet why temporary because huh? The magnetism is only there when you have current. When you switch off the current, no more magnet. That's why we say it's temporary magnet. Huh? So this magnet is only occur when you on the current. When you switch off the current, huh? no more magnet. Huh? Okay. Okay. I'll give you one example. Huh? Example is a fan. You look at the fan, the shielding fan. Huh? Why the tai hua kai now come in? Okay right the example is fan right okay fan now uh, every time when you on the switch uh, the fan will spin correct not okay the reason is like this you now when you on the switch uh, so the current go inside the fan so it produces a magnetic force become magnetic so this magnetic force will pull the fan to spin understand okay uh? so example is fan now uh, where fan actually is electromagnetic electric make it to become magnet and then the magnetic magnetic force attract to spin the fan understand huh? okay then next magnetic field uh, this is what what is magnetic field okay magnetic field is a region highlight now region in which a magnetic material experiences a force result of present of magnet or electromagnet meaning that uh, is a region where a magnetic material will experience of a force line okay this force of course is magnetic force line okay that area uh, or region uh, will experience the magnetic force uh, that region is called magnetic field understand okay we remember uh, Magnetic field is a region where the magnetic material will experience a magnetic force. Okay, for example, uh, there on the table there is a piece of magnet, a piece of magnet, right? Then you put uh, iron nail, iron nail near to it, near to the magnetic on the table, right? You notice that uh, the iron nail will be attracted to the magnet. Why? Because the iron nail is located at the magnetic field okay then you put try to put the iron uh, further 
further away from the magnet, then you see nothing happen. Why? Because now the iron new line is already out from the magnetic field. So no magnetic force being experienced. Nah. So you wouldn't extract. Okay, understand? Nah? Okay, the direction of magnetic field is from north to south. This one you must remember. Nah. Magnetic direction is north to south. Okay. Uh, maybe I draw a picture here. Right? This is a magnet, like this, right? A power magnet. Nah. This is north, right? And this is south, right? South. And the magnetic field direction is from north to south. Okay, the arrow is like that. Okay, north to south. Okay, from north toward south. Okay, so this is the direction of magnetic field huh? from north to south. Okay, north to south. Understand? Okay, I forgot something. I must go and close it. Remember later on the sum for the going to Show names and notator. Okay, disable. Disable means don't allow you to draw already. Nah. Okay, hold on, nah. Must show the name to, to draw pictures. Okay. Right. Next. Magnetic effect of current carrying conductor. When you look at this diagram. I already heard the answer here, one, you know. Huh? Okay. Yeah. This is a piece of cardboard, okay? A piece of cardboard. This is a wire, okay? Wire is conducting the electric current flow from positive, we go, then come down, go back, right? Okay, what you notice, huh? when current flowing through a conductor, then surrounding the wire, you have magnetic field okay this line are circle circle lines right these are the magnetic field line okay magnetic field line how to see the magnetic field line of course cannot see one so you put iron filling okay you put the powder of the iron you put put it here okay put the iron powder okay iron powder or we call iron filling huh? you put it here then you knock, 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 knock a little bit. Uh, you on the current, then you notice that the iron filling, uh, the iron powder will arrange themselves in circular shape like that. In circle shape, you know. So this is a magnetic field, okay? The patterns of magnetic field is like that. Lah. And when we put compasses, uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, you put compass, right? You notice uh, the pointer point to this direction. Here, here, here means ah, uh, it show that this magnetic field is in this direction, clockwise direction. Okay, how to recognize this is clockwise north uh, direction? Now uh, you see this diagram. Can you look at here? Look at this diagram. Okay, this is a wire, ah, uh, wire, and then the current is flowing down here, ah. Uh, this wire lah. Uh, okay, current is flowing down. So your hand is holding the wire. You see or not? Uh, your hand is holding the wire now. Nah. Okay, I show you like, like this now. Nah. Can you see or not? This is a wire. Okay, not see or not clear. Not see or Okay, what's the background there now? Nah. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, you look at here now. Nah. Imagine your hand holding the wire. Okay, this wire now. Nah. The wire is conducting current. So your hand is holding it. Then you notice your direction, your thumb, thumb must follow the current direction. Okay, this is current direction. So you see your thumb, ma? thumb follow the direction of the current going down. Okay, and your other fingers uh, will show the direction of magnetic field. Lah. It's like this direction, no? This is your other finger, this direction, isn't it? Okay, so meaning that now, uh, you can imagine your hand uh, like this, okay? Uh, you are holding the conductor, okay? The current is down, okay? Like this, huh? When you, you are standing on top, you see your other finger. This finger uh, is turning in the clockwise direction, okay? Clockwise direction, uh, okay? This why one way you can come in here, okay? So remember, uh, your hand is holding the wire like this. 
So your other finger will show the directions of magnetic field. Lah. So which is clockwise direction. Okay, this direction also can be only show when you put the, the compass. You put compass, you see the direction of magnetic field is, is clockwise direction. Understand? Okay, huh? right? So far, can you understand or not? Huh? No deal? So yes. Far, can, can, huh? Okay, yeah. I, take, I take a picture first. Okay, I need to write report one, you know, when I teach, I need to write report. Okay, thank you. Jeff, why well, you look very handsome, man. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, how are you? Huh? I'm fine, teacher. Very handsome, ma, your face. Okay. Tan Chai Liang, how are you? Ah? Tan Chai Liang. Where's your brother, Tan Chai Liang? Not there. Uh, uh, how are you, Chai Liang? Yes. Oh, this Jeff and Naked, I don't neck that way. <laughs> okay, come on, let's move on. Huh? Okay, so this one you understand already, yeah? Okay, now we look at the next example. Ah, uh, this one. Um, to determine the direction of this magnetic field, right? Actually, we are using right hand grip rule. Please highlight right hand grip rule. This is called right hand grip rule. Huh? Using your right hand, not left hand. Use your right hand. Understand? Your right hand holding the wire. Then make sure your thumb is pointing to the direction of current. This wire, the direction is current flowing down, correct or not? So your thumb point down, understand? So you're holding the wire. Your other fingers will show the directions of magnetic field. So the magnetic field is this direction. Lah. When you see from the top to the bottom, right? Okay? When you see like that, you are standing up from here, you see, ah. Uh, so you see your other finger turns in clockwise direction from here, understand? Uh, can, uh? So this is right hand grip rule. Okay, another one uh, is Maxwell. Okay, this one also you need to learn. Maxwell's two rule. Okay, what is Maxwell's two rule? Okay, you, this one easy like you see now. Uh? Imagine this is a top wire, this is the current line. You want to tighten the screw. You want to I turn the screw right, so you must turn clockwise direction. Okay, clockwise direction. When current go inside, go down, you want to tighten the screw. You turn clockwise direction. You turn clockwise to tighten the screw. That's why when current go down, you need to turn clockwise direction, right? So the magnetic field is clockwise direction, nah, can I, nah? So remember, no, there are two. You know, one is Maxwell's two rule. The other one is right hand grip rule to determine the direction of magnetic field okay now let me ask question as you kai ji can you tell me how to determine the direction of this magnetic field use what method the, the screw rule what screw rule what's the name maxwell maxwell uh, screw rule yes maxwell screw rule another one uh right hand Grip rule. Yes, remember the name. Huh? One is Maxwell screw rule. The other one is right hand grip rule. Understand? Huh? All right, next. Okay, next one is the when you look at this uh, current, how the current flow. Uh, okay, you see now. Nah? Imagine this is a piece of paper. Lah. This is a piece of paper. This is a piece of paper. Lah. Like that, a piece of paper, right? Okay, when the current flow into the paper, you see that from here go up, flow into the paper, then come out from the bottom. This one is when current flow into the paper, go inside the paper, and then from the bottom it come out, right? Current flow into the paper. Okay, you put X, X, huh? the symbol is X, you know. X show that the current flow into the paper, okay? Whereas when 
current flow out from the paper. You see, uh, from the bottom come in, then come out. So the current flow from the bottom come out from the paper. So you say out from the paper. So the symbol is a dot. Can you remember that or not? X, uh, X show that current flow into the paper. Into is X, okay? When you put a dot here, means that the current is come out from the paper. It come out, it flow from the bottom, then it come out here, understand? Remember the symbol, huh? X show current flow into the paper. Dot show the current flow or come out from the paper. From bottom go up, then it come out from the paper. Okay? So remember that. Uh, you see this is X. X, Y, this is clockwise direction. X, eh? Y. Use right hand grip rule. Correct not? When X means uh, the current go inside the paper. Inside the paper. You see, go inside the paper. When you use your hand, your right hand, must use your right hand, uh, hold the wire like that. Thumb point down, uh, because current go down, right? But then you see your other fingers uh, is clockwise direction. You can see your own hand. Don't look at my hand, understand? Because my hand, uh, I put the mirror to the ballet or if you want. Look at your own hand. Right hand, right hand holding the wire, the thumb point down, because current going down, right? Then you see your other finger is clockwise direction. This side here. Clockwise direction, not clockwise direction. Nah. Okay, what about here? Current go out from the paper. I mean, your hand is like that already. Your, your thumb go out. Okay. Thumb, the direction of current go up now. Okay. Then you see your other hand fingers direction is anti-clockwise. You see your, your other fingers. Uh, you see your own hand. Okay, when, when your thumb is pointing up. Why point up? Because now the current is flowing up. So your thumb point up. Okay, must use your right hand, not left hand, because the name is right hand grip rule. Okay, okay, your thumb is up, right? Then you see your other hand, fingers direction is anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise. Okay, huh? so this one you have learned already. Huh? Okay, look at another example. Uh, look at this. This one is another case, you know. This is when the current flow through a single coil. This is a coil of wire, one coil. What a single wire, this is a coil of wire, you see? Current come out from the positive, follow here. From the bottom, it come out, turn in, then come back here, correct right not? Okay, the arrow show how the current flow, uh, you must understand how the current flow. Uh. Okay, now, on the left side, this is, you put a dot, Why a dot. Eric, why here is dot, why here I put X, uh, Eric. Eric, uh. then uh, no, no. Why here is a dot, because why here is X, why here is dot? Because the positive and negative. <laughs> the direction what? of positive is from left. Ah, uh, mean here the current come out from the paper, right? Current come out from the paper means you put dot. Here, put X, Y. Why put X? Because the current go into the paper, correct right not? Hey, you understand or not? This one is come out, come out, you put dot. Here, go inside the paper, go in, right? Go in, so you put X, understand? And the magnetic field are all in circle, circle shape, circle here, circle here. But why here is anti-clockwise? Why here is clockwise? Why like that? Use what uh, method to determine? Use your right hand grip rule, correct right not? Okay, here the uh, current come out, so your thumb, your hand is like that, uh, no? Right hand, the thumb point up. The current go up, so your thumb point up, your right hand. So you see your other fingers, you see that uh, is anti-clockwise direction. Now you see like that. So very hard to show to you. Uh, huh? Your other fingers is in anti-clockwise direction. You see your own hand. Uh, thumb point up, this is anti-clockwise direction. Then on the right side, the current go into, into, so your thumb is down now. Because current go down, right? Then your other fingers direction, you look at your own hand, right hand, uh, 
The other finger follow clockwise direction. The sign here is clockwise direction. Here empty clockwise direction. Then in between now, uh, in between you notice uh, both magnetic field uh, they have the same direction. Same direction, you see or not? Same direction, so they will combine. So definitely here it becomes strict line. Okay, that's why you see got strict line here, the magnetic field lines. Ah, you can see it. Why you tumble here, then, then, ah? Opening or look at your pictures, ah, because your head tumble. No, you can see. Yeah. So this is a coil of wire. The pattern of magnetic field is like that, ah. So circular shape. This is anti-clockwise current come out. Here clockwise current go in, right? Okay. Okay. See the third one. You see the third one here. Okay. Okay. The third one that uh, is current in the solenoid. Solenoid. Solenoid means a uh, one coil of long coil of wire. You see like this, uh, one coil like this. Uh. Okay, one coil of wire. Okay, this wire is coiled up through a piece of paper, right? So the positive current come out here, go here, come out from the paper, turn, go back, turn again, keep turning like that. Uh. This side, you see, I put the red arrow, show the direction of current, right? Uh, turn then come back. Understand? I show one more time. Uh. Hey, you must know how the current flow. Uh. Okay. This is a piece of paper got many holes here. So you put the wire go through the hole. Uh. Understand? Okay. First thing very important you know the current. The current come out from positive, positive here, then come out from this hole. Follow this wire. Turn, go to behind, then come in front. Keep on turning now. Uh. Many many turns like that, okay. Uh, then finally we come back. Understand? Okay, uh? we only show the direction of current on top. On top, only bottom one we don't see. Uh? only see on top. Okay, right. What happens is like this, you know. On to determine now uh, the left side, right side. You see, left here I put north already. Right side here is south. Why? Because using right hand grip rule. There is another right hand grip rule. You look at this again, look at here, please. This right hand grip rule. Kirtana now come in. Uh, Kirtana. Huh? Okay, uh, I go slowly here like see. Huh? This one is the second right hand grip rule. Another right hand grip rule, you know. This is different from the one we learned just now. Okay, this one's right hand grip rule here, now. Nah. Okay. Right. This right hand grip rule. This is a solenoid, one coil of wire solenoid, right? Your hand nah, holding the coil of wire, holding the solenoid. This is a solenoid. This one now, nah, huh? So use your hand to hold it. But you cannot simply hold, you know, you must hold so that uh, your thumb. Okay. Your other fingers, uh, when you hold the solenoid, your other finger must follow this direction. No, I like the water. I don't like the thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the water. I heard already. Huh? Uh -huh. I know you want the water. Okay. Uh, please uh, off your mic again or not. If you don't ask questions, then you switch off your mic now. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Right. I come back here again now. Huh? This right hand grip rule for solenoid. This one is solenoid. Okay. This is one coil of wire. Okay. The current flow in such a way. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Isn't it? Okay. You hold your hand, hold this coil like this. Huh? You must make sure you hold it where your other finger follow the direction of current. You see or not? Direction of current go up. So your hand, your hand must be like that. This one, so same direction with the current here. Then now your thumb, thumb point to north. Where, where your thumb point to is become the north. Understand? 
when here is north wind, this side becomes south. Okay, I repeat one more time. You all listen properly. This is right hand grip rule. This one is special for solenoid. Solenoid is one coil of wire like that. One big coil of wire. Or oh, another diagram show clearer one is this one. Okay. Uh, here, this is this kind of wire. Lah. This kind of wire, we call it solenoid. Understand? Solenoid. Okay. Wire go round the coil is called solenoid. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, this one you understand already now. This side your hand holding here so that your hand direction same like this, this current, understand? So your thumb point to north. So here is north, this side here become north. Then the other side become south, okay? Then the direction of magnetic field for cerebral is like this, you know. It start from the north, it go towards the south. From north, go to south. North go to south, north go to south. Same thing go to bottom, north go to south. North go to south, understand? So you put the arrow all like this. Huh? Okay, when you put a compass here on the north pole, right? The pointer come out. Okay, you always remember, you know, the magnetic field uh, come out from the positive, uh, sorry, come out from north. This is north, right? So it come out. So the arrow come out. Whereas when you put a compass here, right, south, uh, then the pointer point in. So remember, north, out, south, in. Uh, the pointer follow the direction one. Uh, north, out, south, in. And you put the compass here, you go this direction because you follow my out from here, go to the right, then come in. Uh, then follow, go to the right. And you put here also the same. From the north, you come out, then go to the right, Go in, huh? so here also go to the right. Okay, what about center here? When you put a compass in the center, huh? the arrow is like that, you know why? Because we follow a circle, and here come in now. Okay, why this one point to here? Because it follow a circle one, you know, from north, go to south, and then come back. Make circle like that, huh? understand? Huh? Okay, north out, go to right, come in to south, then come back. Same thing here. La. North is out, go to south, in, then come back. Okay, this side you put compass is here. Huh? So remember, you know, this diagram, make sure you draw it down. Okay, so this is the magnetic field pattern of a current in a solenoid. Okay, so actually you already learned three, you know, uh, three. The uh, first one is one single wire, one uh, this one, single wire. Current flow through a single wire, so the magnetic field is like that. Use your right hand grip rule to determine the direction of the magnetic field. Okay. The second one is current go through a coin. Uh, this is one single coin, one coin only. Okay. Uh, this is one coin. Uh, then you have two different magnetic field, one on the left, one on the right. Use right hand grip rule also the same. Huh? And the third one is solenoid. When current go through a solenoid, it produces a magnetic field uh, like a bar magnet, exactly like a bar magnet. The whole thing, uh, this one become a magnet, you know, okay? This why you have north, you have south. Bar magnets might have north and south, right not? Okay, uh? so this one is using the second right hand grip rule. This one, uh, hey, please remember this, you know. This the name same, you know, right hand grip rule, but the method to use is different. Okay, so you hold the solenoid to make sure your fingers are uh, follow the direction of current. Follow, huh? then your, you look at your thumb, thumb point to the north. Where your thumb point to is become the north. Understand? Okay, yeah. So this is the second right hand grip rule. Also, right hand, uh, not left hand, uh, don't use your left hand, it's right hand. Okay. All right now, now this is a bar magnet. This one you same lah. This is a piece of bar magnet. This is north. This is south. Okay, so the magnetic field is from north go to south. North go to south. North go to south like that, isn't it? You put compass here. North go out. You put south. Compass point in. So you follow lah. Go out. Go to the right. Come in. Then make a turn. Come back. Okay. Take out the diagram lah. Huh? You take out the diagram, please. Okay.
sometimes it will down. Kiritana, okay or not? You understand or not? Kiritana Murti, huh? You understand? Yeah. All right, we move on now. Huh? All this we have done. Solenoid we have done. Palm at neck. Okay. Right hand grip rule. Okay. There is another one you need to learn. Okay. Uh, this time we seldom use that, but I think you need to know so you know. Just now, first method for solenoid, we use right hand grip rule, determine north and south. Now, another method huh? by determining the pull at solenoid. We follow this method, you know, okay. This method is a bit lazy, lah, but you is inside your syllabus, you know. You must also learn, you know. Okay, I follow this diagram. Ma. This is a solenoid. Oh no, the ballet no, not this one already. Sorry. Not follow this, ah. Okay, let's say now the current goes flow here down, turn a few turns, then it come back, right? Okay. Now for this diagram, ma, when you are looking from the left left side here left side right when you're looking from the left side uh, this current turn in such a way like clockwise direction it's clockwise direction correct not when you're looking from here you see or not can you imagine now uh, you look at look from here means a current turn in clockwise direction like a clock isn't it clockwise direction uh? so clockwise direction is you see that uh, use an arrow you can write the words S, okay? You see, write the S, so it's south, south, huh? When it's clockwise direction, it's south, so here is south, okay? On the right side, you put your eyes here to see, uh, when you see, see from here, you look at the wire, right? Then a current flow in anti-clockwise, correct, right? you put your eyes here. So the current is flowing, this direction is anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise, you can write north, like write the N. Put this arrow can be write the N, correct or not? So clockwise direction is south. Anti-clockwise direction is north. This one is using this method now, using your eyes to see one. See from the left and see from the right. When you see from the left, clockwise direction. So it's south. When you see See from the right is anti-clockwise direction. You see here. So this wire, the current flow is anti-clockwise like that. So it's north, huh? So this is another method, you know. Understand now? Huh? Huh? Okay. So far, can or not? You all can understand. Kirtana, yes. Okay. Yeah. Ken Ming, how are you? Can can understand or not? Ku Ken Ming. Huh? Yes. Can I? Narisa, can I understand? Narisa Tan. Why Narisa Tan and not, not Elisa Tan? Narisatan, okay. Narisatan, are you there? Can I see, okay. Huisin, do you understand? Yao Huisin? Mm. Huh? Mm. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Huh? Yuan On, you are still there, huh? Yuan On, can I understand? Ah, uh, Yuanan can understand or not? Yeah, uh -huh. 
Okay, we move on now. Okay, so far now, we have started part one, you know, electromagnetic, the meaning of electromagnetic, and then ferromagnetic material, okay? Material can be attracted by magnet, we call it ferromagnetic material, right? Okay, after that, you learn the patterns of magnetic field of three types, nah? patterns of magnetic field of three types. Okay, first one is single wire. When the current flow through single wire, what is the pattern of magnetic field, right? What direction? Someone trying to take my pictures and play, you know, okay? Okay, use a right hand grip rule, can I not? Okay, the second pattern you learn is the current flow through a coil, one coil of wire, right? Then you have left, right to circular shape, right? And the last one you have just learned was this uh, solenoid. Solenoid means a wire flow through a coil. Coil a wire like that one. So it's called solenoid. So to determine the direction of magnetic field, the pole, uh, north pole, south pole. So use right hand grip rule. Now right hand grip rule is like that one, you know, it's different, like that one. Okay. You're holding the, the solenoid. Your hand is like that. Okay. Read the paper now. Uh. Okay. Now. We move on to the next one, which is I think is even more important. Okay. Now here. Just how we see now. Okay, let me come back here now. Okay, come back here first. <clears throat> when we allow current to flow through this wire, this called wire, right? So this wire become magnetic, you know. This why magnet then you only have magnetic field mark. So here got another magnetic field, mean the wire actually become a magnet. Same thing goes to the solenoid. When you allow current flow through a solenoid, the whole piece of this thing become a bar magnet. So become magnet, you know. Okay. This why you have north pole, south pole, because this thing become a magnet, right? Okay. Now the next thing is uh, how to make this magnet stronger. How? They say I want to produce a magnetic field, a uh, stronger one. So what you do? You see, look at the fan. The fan, right? I'm talking to myself. What to, to share, okay? Sorry. Okay, come back here, huh? Okay, now, when we allow current to flow through this solenoid, this whole thing becomes a magnet. Right, a strong magnet, right? A bar magnet, that's why you have North Pole, South Pole, right? Okay, now the next one, what are you going to learn is, how are you going to make this magnet stronger? How to make it stronger? For example, the fan. I want the fan spin faster. So the magnet inside the fan must become stronger. Stronger can it can pull the fan spin faster. Ma. Okay. How to make this magnetic field stronger? Okay, this is very important. Now, please highlight now. Factor affecting the strength of magnetic field of an electromagnet. Okay, the first one is current. Please highlight current. You want the magnet to become stronger, you increase the current. Okay, when the current is increased, the strength of electromagnetic strength of magnetic field increases this important now huh? first one is current you know you want to get stronger magnetic field increase the current when the current is increased the strength of magnetic field increases okay first one huh? okay the second one number of tons of wire ah this is what number of tons of wire Okay, number of tons of wire means uh, you want this magnet electromagnetic stronger, right? You put more turn, more turn here. Understand? Uh? Like here, now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tons only. Not strong one. It's not strong. Okay? You want it stronger, so you put more tons of wire, more tons. The more tons you have here, it will become stronger. So, second point, ah. Uh, Number of tons of wire. When the number of tons of wire increase, okay, you increase the number of tons of wire, the strength of magnetic field increases. Okay, second one, ah, uh, okay, third, 
types of material. Okay, types of okay, types of material of the coal. Okay, uh, now we have got another new word here, coal. Okay, coal means ah. Uh, the thing you are going to put it inside. Okay, for example, here, yeah, take this example. You look at here, nah. This is solenoid. I want to produce magnet, right? Okay, I put something inside. Okay, a metal or whatever thing I put inside, right? So that thing you put it inside here, right? Nah, is called coal. What types of material of the coal? Okay, coal, you know. Okay, uh, I tell you straight away, lah. When you put something inside here, lah, nah, you put soft iron when you put soft iron inside here as a coal nah, suddenly this electromagnet become extremely strong one you know you put a piece of soft iron not iron nah, not normal iron is soft iron you put inside you insert inside here as a coal so it will make the electromagnet very very strong okay so the third one is types of material of the coal coal means ah, Something you put it inside, right? You see the wire like that, right? Put something inside, okay? Put the soft iron inside, so become the core, lah, okay? Different material of core have different strength of magnetic field. Please highlight soft iron core. Ah, this is the best. Soft iron core. Soft iron. Okay, what is soft iron, my class? Okay, soft iron is not iron, you know. Okay, let me explain to you, lah. For normal iron, nah, when you process, right? When you process, for normal iron, right, you heat it up until about 800 degrees Celsius, right? So it melt, then when it's frozen already, so it becomes iron, nah. Then when it's 800 degrees Celsius, you process the iron. Okay, sometimes uh, this uh, iron, I heat it up until 2000 degree higher temperature higher temperature uh, i heat up the iron to higher temperature and also i add in a little bit of carbon inside uh, this iron become soft iron so it's different you know soft iron soft iron means are uh, processed in higher temperature and also mixed with a little bit of carbon so it becomes soft iron okay soft iron has the strongest magnetic field Soft iron. So soft iron core is able to concentrate the magnetic field lines to it. Then you put soft iron la, like this. Ah, okay. I draw a picture here. La, huh? Slowly. Ah. So this is solenoid. Okay. So you have battery here. Right. Okay. La. Okay, when you on the current now, uh, so this thing will become magnetic now uh, because current flow, right? So this solenoid become magnetic, but this magnet is not so strong. Okay, how to make it stronger? All right, I tell you what. You put soft iron as a core. You put a piece of soft iron you put inside. Uh, like that. One piece of soft iron you put it inside. Uh, like that. Uh. So this is soft iron. Okay. Soft iron, you put it inside as a core. Okay, so this soft iron, when you put inside here, nah, immediately, uh, this electromagnet become very, very, very strong. I mean, soft iron core, the purpose state is help to concentrate the magnetic field. So the magnetic field all concentrated here, nah, concentrated here. Nah. So this magnetic field become very strong because this soft iron core. Concentrate the magnetic field. Understand? Ah, huh? third one, yeah. First one is current. Second one is number of turns. Third one is types of material of the core. The best is soft iron core. Understand? Okay. And the fourth one is the shape of the iron core. This is also important. Highlight, please. Shape. What shape of the iron core? Okay. The best shape is U shape. Ah, U shape one the core. You see just now. Like this, uh, this core like this not good enough. Straight, straight one, uh, soft iron core not so good, you know. When you make the core become U-shaped, uh, then it's the best. Okay? The shape of the iron core is U-shaped, is the best, you know. Okay? Uh, now you read here. Uh, U-shaped soft 
U-shaped iron core has more stronger magnetic field than the straight iron core. This one has more magnetic field, you know. Okay, very simple reason I see. Huh? When you put this this way, when you check with your right hand grip row, this is south, this is north, right? Then you notice here, huh? north to south here got one magnetic field. Not here. This one magnetic field already north to south. Another magnetic field come from here, you know, north to south. So meaning that here got two magnetic field, one here, north to south. Another one is north to south. So when you have two magnetic field, definitely nah, the electromagnet becomes stronger, correct not? Nah. Yeah. Okay, so the shape of iron core, U shape iron core has more stronger magnetic field than a straight line core because U shape iron core has two opposite pole as adjacent to each other. Okay, not as uh, two opposite pole, two opposite pole adjacent to each other. One here, one here. Uh. One is north to south, the other one north to south, right? As a result, the magnetic field lines are concentrated in the space between the pool here. Lah. Okay. The side the magnetic field become very, very strong. Okay. Understand? So so far, understand. Nah, all this for the chat today, I see a chat so much and so long. Sometime when finish the lesson, nah, I open up the chat and I look at the recorded chat, you know, very funny. Uh. You know, your type very fun, funny, funny thing inside the chat. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, new. So why you in garden? Okay, because I like in garden. Okay, garden got fresh air. Hey, yes, correct. So are you in America? Now <laughs> like daytime now like in America lah. I want Donald Trump's autograph. Okay, you go and ask from him now, huh? Donald Trump. Okay. I thought you want President Trump. Okay, I'm not President. Huh? <laughs> you are very funny. Sometimes I look through what you are type there. I'm very funny, you know. Okay. Wow, so long. Huh? Okay, huh? your chat. Uh, but make sure you listen. Huh? Don't just chat only, you know. Must listen. Huh? You can't see a good the ballet. Uh, when you, the ballet you like Spider Man, you know, hanging there. Your head, the ballet. Huh? So far, okay or not? Che. C H E Che. Are you there? Ah, okay. Okay, lah. Okay, Wei Kang, okay or not? Ah, Wei Kang. Wei Kang, no sound already. Ah, go on. Then Wei Sang put sign like that. Good, good sign. Okay. You want? You want to? You? <laughs> you want? Okay or not? You want to? Ah, no sound one. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah, very shy, lah. Liao, Liao, are you there? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, ah, <laughs> Liao Xing Xiang, how are you? Ah, uh? ah, uh, okay. Okay, ah. Uh? Hey, you understand the question you asked me? I, I answer in WhatsApp already. You read it or not? Ah, uh, no yet. Okay, ah. Uh, you ask three questions. I answer last. I think last night I answer already. Ah, uh? okay. You go and see mm, okay. the answer. Okay. Okay. You're very hard working, uh, Liao. You study so hard. You know. Ask a lot of questions through WhatsApp. Okay. What's your name? How are you? I'm good, teacher. Huh? I'm good. <laughs> Can I understand the lesson? Uh? Can. Can, huh? Where's your good friend? Uh? Azro Ong, never see her. Uh. Azro, how are you? I'm good, teacher. <laughs> good apple 
Apple, I saw your name somewhere just now. You you log in, <laughs> you log in many many times. You know, I click many many times, then only you come in. No. Uh, Apple. I thought what time only. <laughs> no, I click. No, I click many times. So yours, huh? I click, keep on click many many oh. times. Then only finally, only I, I saw you. You came in, okay? Yan Ming, okay? Understand? Valerie, Valerie C, are you there? Yeah. Ah, Valerie. Ah, uh, yeah, here. Can understand, ah? Can ah? Okay, Ngo, how are you? Ngo, are you there? Yeah, okay, sir. Can understand? Can. Can ah? Okay, Chiu Tong, how are you? I'm good. Good ah, Tan Ke Yin. Ah, now I see you, Tan Ke Yin. Good or not? I'm good. Ah, Tan Ke Yin. Very shy, ah. Huh? Tivish, are you there? Ah, huh? Tivish. Ah. Huh? Wow, good sign. Okay. Tivish put good sign on the ah. Uh, never answer. Okay. Your friend ah, uh, Chan ah, uh, he he come in or not ah, uh, Tivish? Angel? Oh, God, God. Wen Kang. Huh? Yeah, God. His name is Wen Kang. Oh, Wen Kang. Chan Wen Kang. Mafusa, okay? Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, can I understand? Huh? Can. Right hand grip rule, can I understand? Huh? Can I? Uh, Aida? Okay, understand? Aida? Understand, sir. Nah, okay. Good night, huh? Aida. Uh, then this one is Kim Jong-un. Who is Kim Jong-un here, huh? Can you tell me your real name? Uh? Kim Jong-un, uh, who? Uh? Who is Kim Jong-un? Huh? Brian, Brian, okay. Brian, no sound, okay. Jocelyn Lee, are you there? Ah, Jocelyn. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, ah, good, uh -huh. Julian, are you there? Ah, Julian. Uh, yes, 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 sir. You follow the lesson or not, Julian? Sir, uh, Julian, yes. sleep. Yes. He sleep, uh, they follow uh, just on the computer. Sleep, sleep. Uh. Fever, fever. Fever, la. Uh, fever, you must go and check already, you know. Um, corona, you, check, corona. Uh, you You went, went to the clinic to check or not? No, ah. Uh. Tan Yi, how are you? I'm uh, fine. Yi. Uh, fine, ah. Uh. Kelvin, Kelvin Chi, okay? Good, good. Uh, how come Kelvin, uh, Kelvin Chi, good, huh? Okay. Come now, we move on, huh? Okay. Okay, next one, huh? Yeah, comparison between soft iron core and steel core. Okay, just now I told you, all right, the best core is soft iron core okay soft iron core is best you know what about steel core put steel inside okay in, in, instead of using soft iron now for this core right what about when we use a steel steel okay you see now within soft iron and steel which one is better now of course it's soft iron now okay right the reason you see here first one soft iron now Easily to magnetize and demagnetize is important, you know. Why soft iron is good? Because easy to become magnet and easy to lose the magnetism is demagnetized, okay? Because uh, this is an electromagnet, right? This electromagnet must be easy to become magnet and easy to demagnetize one, you know, because we want to use it, uh, you must make it in such a way that you can control it. So you on the current, 
they become magnet, so it's magnetized. When you're off the current, it demagnetize. Uh, that one is good enough. Easy to magnetize, easy to demagnetize. Uh, that one is good. The one takes a soft iron core. Understand? Okay, steel core, uh, you see, hardly magnetize and demagnetize. Okay, the scientists uh, still are uh, still core not that good. Uh. Still, uh, actually, to magnetize is not so difficult, uh, but to demagnetize it is impossible. Another word means uh, when you're using steel, uh, you put steel here. Uh, once you on the current, uh, this thing will become permanent magnet. Why permanent magnet? Because uh, one each is magnetized, uh, you off the current, uh, you won't demagnetize one. Uh, that is steel. So steel is no good, it's like that. No. Still, uh, it turns into permanent magnet. Okay. Once you allow current to go in, it becomes magnet, it's magnetized. But when you switch off the current, uh, it won't demagnetize at all. The magnetism remains. So it becomes permanent magnet. The sign still call not that good because you cannot control. You cannot on, cannot off, cannot, cannot control. Okay. These are not good. Okay. Another one is soft iron, suitable to make temporary magnet. Okay. Because can on and off, right? Electromagnet, soft iron easy to become temporary magnet. Lah. Can on, can off, right? Whereas uh, steel core suitable to make permanent magnet. Uh, okay, you see the difference or not? You become permanent magnet one when the steel you put inside as a core. Uh. Understand? Uh? <coughs> okay, now experiment. Uh, experiment now uh, is I need to discuss also with you because uh, you know why you know experiment is still important uh, okay because your SPM from fire uh, you still need to seek for experiment writing uh, writing a uh, written experiment you know you need to write experiment one understand okay the experiment to investigate the relationship between the strength of electromagnetic and the current. We already know the answer just now. The higher the current, the stronger the strength of the electron magnet, right not? We know the relation already. When a current is higher, the stronger the strength of the electron magnet. But we want to do the experiment to prove it. So how to do the experiment? Huh? Okay. Okay. We... No, I come in now. Go in, come in, go in, come on. Okay. Okay, hypothesis uh, highlight strength of electromagnetic increases as current increases. This one you know already. Uh. Aim investigate the relationship between the strength of electromagnetic and the current now. Okay, same. Okay, in this experiment now, uh, we manipulate current, manipulate the current, control the current, right? And the responding variable is uh, this one you have to cancel. I tell you what to write, uh, you can study first. Huh? Because uh, strength of electromagnet actually cannot be measured. One, how to measure the strength of electromagnet? This I cannot put responding variable as strength of it. Okay, I say you write. Huh? You're supposed to put number of paper clip attracted. The number of paper clip attracted. Number of paper clip attracted by the electromagnet. How many paper clip attracted by the electromagnet? Now, the one is the responding variable. Okay, for fixed variable, no problem. To fix it now, the number of turns solenoid must be constant. Okay, and the types of core also must be the same. Cannot change. Huh? So remember now, fixed variable is number of turns solenoid. And types of core cannot be changed. Huh? Okay, now you look at the diagram. I explain here to you huh? how this experiment is going to do, you know. Okay, what you need huh, is a solenoid. Huh? This is a solenoid, you know. You see the wire called wire, wire here. So this is a solenoid, right? right? And this is a battery. This is a real start to control the current. This is an ammeter, right? Ammeter to see the current big or small. Huh? Okay. And then the small iron nails or paper clip, you put it here. Okay, on a plastic container, put here. Huh? You either put iron nails or you put paper clip also can. Huh? Okay, so what you do is like this. Huh? You 
at first uh, you on the switch right adjust the real start adjust the real start now okay you adjust the real start so that you start current with 0.2 ampere okay this one here now adjust the real start so that the current show here 0.2 ampere we always start with small current 0.2 ampere okay very small current we don't want the wire become hot now so use a small current when small current flow inside here this one become magnet right not become electromagnet so this electromagnet will then attract the iron new come up right not but of course uh, this magnetic field not so strong like you leave it like that you won't attract so strong right so what you need to do is you hold this plastic condemner right? you put it up here okay i put it up here then the plastic condemner you put up here lor. leave it for about 10 seconds are you 10 seconds you know you on the current 0 0.2 ampere let this sun become magnetic then this thing you put up for 10 seconds uh, then only you count uh, you count how many iron nails or paper clip attracted here how many how many attracted understand and then you count the number of so, uh, paper clip or iron nail attracted right okay next you put it down again uh, put it down uh, after that second experiment you increase the current to 0 0.4 ampere okay uh, you see the current now you make it zero just now 0 0.2 ampere right only three iron new attractor one two three attractor three only then next round adjust real start make the current become 0 0.4 ampere you see 0 0.4 do the same thing this one lift up for 10 seconds then you see there are six iron new attracted six huh? so the experiment repeat now you saying 0 0.6 ampere 0 0.8, 1.0, 1.2. Then you can see here, huh? when the current getting higher, the number of paper clip or iron nail attracted also become more, right? So it show that now, huh? when the current getting higher, more paper clip or more iron nail attracted, it show that the electric, the electromagnetic field actually become stronger, right? Not so you show that now uh, when the current is higher the electromagnetic field actually becomes stronger why stronger because more iron nail attracted up here uh. and uh, so this is our experiment you know i'm not going to explain that you read yourself uh, roughly is like that uh. so the graph uh, the graph is like this uh. okay this is directly proportional current thicker current more iron new attracted so directly proportional okay understand now can you understand this experiment <clears throat> huh? uh, so far can you understand or not chok chok do you understand the experiment and yes. okay understand chok understand ah huh? kai chi do you understand chu kai chi yes che uh, che do you understand Yeah, ah, yeah. yeah, 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 okay. Hanis, you understand? Yes. Understand, ah? Where is your friend Aisha? Aisha never see her name one. Where is Aisha? Not where is Aisha, no? I saw her came in just now, but now you cannot find her. Aisha. Very long. Okay, we move on now. Huh? No eye, okay, huh? Okay, we got one more experiment. Okay, come, let's go on now. Huh? Okay, the next experiment is, uh, you see, this one. Experiment to investigate the relationship between the strength of electromagnet and the number of tons of solenoid. Uh, you also know the answer, right? Not the relation is what the more the number of tons of solenoid, more tons, right? When you have more tons, 
the the strength of electromagnet actually becomes stronger, can not? Right? Okay. I use a diagram to explain only that actually you already know the answer one. The more number of solenoid, the more number of them, the stronger the electromagnet. Okay, this experiment now uh, we can use the same diagram, same setting and you know. all, same diagram here, but instead of controlling the current now, we don't control the current already, but you control the number of turns here, number of turns here you control. Okay, listen now. Uh, this are all fakes, battery fakes, current fakes. Nah, don't need, actually, don't need the real start already. You only need to change the number of turns here. Okay? Controlling the number of turns. Nah. So, many manipulated variable is the number of turns. Nah, huh? Number of turns of solenoid here. Responding variable, same. Nah. How many cyan new attracted? Constant variable will become current and types of core. Okay? Have a look first. Nah. Okay? Nah. The number of turns in manipulated variable, you adjust turn, how many turns. Okay, this one don't use the strength, I uh, use number of iron new attracted, uh, which change here and all. Number of iron new attracted. Okay, and fixed variable will be the current, must be fixed now, and the types of core, same material. Uh, uh. Okay, so the experiment go this way. Okay, uh. okay. first you put 10 tons, uh, here 10 tons are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 tons are uh, 10 tons here on the current. This thing become magnet, but then this one put up 10 seconds so that the iron nail can be attracted. Then you see we need three. Three iron nail attracted. Then after that, you change to 20 tons, you know, four tons now, 20 tons and you know. all. Put 20 tons here. So now put up this, you notice that now. Uh, more iron new can be attracted now become six. Then put 30 tons. I would pick 30 tons here. So this one put up, you see, more iron new attracted. So it's very straightforward, you see now. Nah? When you have more number of tons, right? You see normal number, number of tons, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? Then the number of iron new attracted also become bigger. So it show that now. Nah? The more the number of tons of solenoid, the stronger the strength of electromagnet, right? Not? So directly proportional once again, nah, straight line. Okay. Understand now? Nah? Okay. So far, I can understand now. Nah? Okay. Um, the next parts are uh, I come back later. Now I want you to answer some objective question first. Okay. Just answer some objective questions. I want to discuss a little bit with you. Lah. You look at question one. Nah, why the answer is B there? You check the answer so that you understand. First question, why the answer is B? Question asked. Speaker shows a straight wire. The wire passed through the paper here, right? A compass placed on the cardboard. You put a compass here. So the question asked. What will happen to the compass pointer when the switch is closed? Close means you point it. Huh? The answer is deflect to the east, you know. Why deflect to the east? East is here now. Nah. Okay, the reason now nah, you must do your check your answer like this, you know. The current come up from positive, you go here, go down through the paper, then come back. Correct not? Okay. Uh, now use your right hand grip rule. Your hand is like that, your finger point down, right hand. Right hand grip rule, understand? Okay. When you check with your right hand grip rule, you notice that your other fingers are is in the direction of clockwise direction. Please, you have to stand up and see. Look at your own hand. Okay. This is the direction of the current go down. Then your other finger show to the direction of clockwise direction. Understand? Look at your own hand now. Okay. Now it's here. You see. Your thumb point down, your other finger is clockwise direction. So clockwise means uh, you make the pointer deflect to this direction. Okay? Follow this direction. Uh, the pointer will follow this direction. So it deflected to the east. East is here. So the answer B. Understand? Uh? Huh? Uh, understand, sir. You sure? Understand or not? Uh, understand. 
Okay, okay, good. And now question number two. Question number two, what can you your try first? What is the answer? What is the answer? You see, I can already give you some hints here. What will happen to the compass pointer when the switch S is closed? You on the switch. So what happened? Let's check the current now. The current come up from positive, you go up, right? Then go up, the current go up, then come back, right? Okay. When current go up here now, use your right hand grip rule. Now your thumb must point up. Not point, not your thumb. Your correct now, your, your thumb must point up like this, okay? This, huh? Okay, because the current go up, ma. So you are pointing the wire with your thumb go up, pointing up. Thumb is pointing up. Understand? Yeah. Then you see your other fingers direction is you check your own hand. Uh, this hands the fingers are in anti-clockwise direction. No, anti-clockwise, not like that. Lor. anti clockwise direction. Okay. So anti-clockwise means uh, here the compass you point this direction. Follow here, uh, point there. Okay. This side the compass you point down like this. Follow this direction. So meaning that this compass point here. Follow this one. This compass follow this direction is point up. So this one point down. This one point up. So what is the answer? A, B, C. Which one? Uh, for assuming, which one is the answer? Huh? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I see first. Uh, you see first. Actually, the answer is already here. So you check ABC, which one is the answer? Huh? Which one is the answer? No? Uh, for swimming? Boy. Boy. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Uh. Yes, correct. The answer is boy. Okay, boy. Uh. The needle M and what? Uh, M. The needle of compass M and N deflect at an angle 90 degree in opposite direction. Okay, one point down, one point up. So they deflect 90 degree but in opposite direction. Uh, huh? 90 degree, but in opposite direction, one down, one up. Huh? Okay, so the answer is B. Okay, number three. Okay, question number three now. Okay, question number three. This diagram is correct. This one also correct. So two answer la, A and B. Huh? You can check with your hand. Huh? X mean current go in or come out. Put X or X current in or out? Anis? Anis, uh, when you put the X, yes. I mean the current is in or out? In. In, uh, into the paper. Uh, yes, correct. Current into the paper, so you put your thumb like that. Go inside the paper, okay? Go inside the paper, go down. Uh. Then you can point to your paper, uh, actually use your hand. Uh, the thumb point inside the paper. You notice that is clockwise direction. And this one dot means the current come out from the paper. Come out means your your thumb is like that. Now come out from you. You hold the paper now. Huh? So this thumb come out from the paper. So it's anti clockwise. So both also correct now, huh? Okay, number four. Ah, number four. This one typical. Awesome. Number four, how? Ah, huh? uh, teacher for number three, right? The question uh -huh. C flows in downward, so I think it's A. Yeah, <laughs> Let me see. I didn't see the question properly. I thought it's true only. Oh, yes. Pro produced by a current flow in downward. Yes, yes, yes. Correct, correct. You see properly the question. Uh. Downward direction means uh, the current must go in, right? Go into the paper. So the answer should be what? Uh, just now, who you say that uh, current flow in downward direction or downward means go into the paper. Into the paper, so it's X uh, must be A. Actually, this one, uh, 
This one is current come out on the paper. Come out. What go down? Downward means go inside the paper. Lah. This one. Okay. So A is correct. Lah. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Just now, who answered the question just now? Ah, Chiu Tong, are you the one? Ah, Chiu Tong. <laughs> I know lah, Chiu Tong. Okay. Thank you very much, ah, Chiu Tong. Okay, question number four. Ah, this one, ah. Speaker shows a rectangular coin. W, X, Y, Z. This is a coin wire, right? Okay, the current come off on the positive. Uh, you put a compass here. One compass is here. Okay, so current go here. Go to the left. Come back. Okay, another compass is here. Okay, now I explain that, but I do want to tell you the answer. You see, huh? the compass is on top of the wire, you know. Okay, when the current is go this direction, right? So your hand, right? imagine use your right hand to clip to, to hold the wire. Thumb must point here, you know, from W point to X. So it's like that, okay? Now you, you are holding the wire like this, huh? This picture very difficult to show. Lah. Okay, your right hand must holding this wire, your thumb point to point up, follow the current, right? Okay, when your thumb point here, nah, then your other fingers is follow this direction. Okay, it's anti clockwise. Lah. So on top is from left go to right. This one bottom, bottom only show. Lah, huh? Bottom means under, under the compass. On top of the compass is this direction. Nah. When you're holding the wire, you use your right hand grip rule, the current go up, right? So your thumb point up. So your other fingers is follow this direction. Okay. This anti clockwise direction, okay. On top is here, bottom is here, bottom to need to see. Okay, on this side, okay, this one first. Lah. When on top, uh, you hold the wire, right? Your thumb point here, your other finger point go to here. This direction will cause a pointer to deflect, follow this direction, okay. So you turn to right hand side. Then what about here? Here, nah, current go to the left. So you use your right hand hold the wire, your thumb follow this direction. Okay, holding the wire with the thumb pointing to the W. Then your other finger show this direction, you know. Okay, it's also anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so now you see now this direction of magnetic, magnetic field, right, is parallel to the pointer. When parallel to the pointer means uh, the pointer will not be deflected, you know, you stay there. So this pointer is not deflected because parallel to this direction. This one deflected because follow this direction. So you deflect here, right? Okay. So what is the answer then? Someone please answer. What is the answer? Huh? Yeah, let's see the answer. The answer is donkey. He does not deflect. Q deflect to the east. To the right side is east. Lah. P does not deflect. Ah, P. This one no deflection because parallel. Okay. This one deflect to the east. East, south, west, north. Ah. Okay, number five. This is a coil. Oh. A coil produces a magnetic field, right? So the answer is a coil. Okay. One coil of wire. Is that okay? Lah? Number six. Okay. North towards south. Okay. Magnetic field north towards south. So the magnetic, the pointer will follow this arrow. Lah. Point, point to the left side. Lah. Like this is the answer A. Lah, huh? This I think okay. Lah. Follow this point to the west. Okay. Yeah. So far, so far okay or not? Tan Chai Lian, so far okay ah? Uh? Huh? Tan Chai Lian, huh? Okay, 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 okay. Where's your brother? 
wrong studio. I'd rather not with you. Ah, Liao, Liao, okay or not, Liao? Okay. Okay, you want? Okay. Okay. Ah, Sing Sun. Who is Sing Sun? Ah, Sing Sun. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay. Sing Sun. Who can Ming? Okay. Can understand? Yes. Wei Xiang. Understand? Ah, Wei Xiang. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Sing in, understand? Sing in. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Like that one. Ah. Okay, lah. Ah. Desmond. Desmond. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Coaching ye. Okay or not? Ah, coaching ye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ah. Chan Yen Wu, okay or not? Ah, Chan Yen Wu. No sound, okay. Tan Yun Su, are you there? Tan Yun Su? Yes. Thank you very much, ah. So teach me how to. How to block the people from uh, chanting, chanting, you know. You remember last lesson, there was someone going chanting, isn't it? Then after that, she, she let me know how to block it. So now I block, block it already, so you cannot chanting already. Huh? I hope I hope cannot chanting anymore. Lah, huh? Okay. This one is Tun M. Who is Tun M? Ah? Tun M. Tun Mahadir. Huh? Eric, are you there? Eric? Ah, uh, Eric? Yes. Yes. You follow the lesson or not, Eric? Yes, I am following. I copy following it already. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Farahana? Where are you, Farahana? Yes. So far, can you follow or not? Then, then, ah, kiri tana. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, ah, new, new. Are you there, new? Ah, no sound already, new. New, okay, can understand. Dalton, Dalton, okay, understand? Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, okay lah. Okay, uh, we still, still got a little bit time lah. I want to continue one more part. That's a very short one. Huh? Another, another 10 to 15 minutes, I'll let you go already. Okay, okay come, let's carry on. Okay, next one is application. Uh, this one I take, I need a, a lot of time to explain now. But I explain one by one now. Uh. Yeah. The applications of the electromagnet. Uh, this one is a question, very important, you know. Uses of the electromagnet. You know, electromagnet is very important. Uh. We already know how to make electromagnet. We let current flow through a wire, so that wire become magnet. When you off the current, the magnet disappeared, correct not? This kind of, this one is called electromagnet. It's very useful, you know, okay? Now, in your syllabus, uh, you need to study four examples. How to use an electromagnet? Okay, the first example is electric bell. Bell in the, the school bell. Electric bell in the school bell. Okay, the bell in your school. Okay, how this electric bell use uh, electromagnet? 
okay? You never realize, you know, actually your school bell uh, make the noise uh, is use an electromagnetic one, you know. Okay. I finish this example, then I can let you go already. Okay, come look at this example. Uh. Uh, this thing work like this, you know, you see, uh, first you must understand how the current flow. Okay, this is an on off switch. Okay. Switch uh, when you want to on the bell, the school bell manually. Or sometimes they use a timer to on the switch one, you know. Every 40 minutes to on the switch. Okay. But if never use any timer, we can use our finger just press here. Lah. When you push the switch that is on, right? So the current comes up from the positive. Follow, follow me, ah. Uh. The current flow here come down. Go to the right side, and then the current, the current will follow the wire to turn here. One turn, two, three, four, five, many turns. Huh? Then it go up, it turns again. Then it go, go up. Okay, when current flow through the wire here, like keep many, many turns here, right? Then also turns here, right? So this thing will become magnet, become electromagnet. Okay, the whole thing becomes strong electromagnetic because uh, you have soft iron, you see or not, soft iron core here. So this one is soft iron. This is soft iron. So you have the wire wide up here. Uh, so when current flow through the wire, right, the whole thing becomes strong magnet, electromagnetic. Same thing goes to this one. This one also becomes strong magnet. Then the current go back, the current cover must go back one, you know. Current go back from here, go up, then it go down, follow here, and then cross over, the current cross over here, contact point, the contact is here, the current cross over, then it go back. Okay, I show one more time how the current flow, when you push a button to on the bell, current come up from positive, go down here, then make a few turns of solenoid to make this thing become electromagnetic. Then go up, turn here, also make this one become strong magnet. Then the current go back, follow here, here, cross over, very important. This contact is very important. Go back, uh, then go back. Lah. Okay, now what happens is like this, you know. When current flow through here, this thing become magnet, this one magnet, this strong magnet will attract this soft iron armature. This magnet uh, attract this soft iron. Okay, the soft iron and mature will be moved here along. This one will be attracted. Okay, you see? It will carry the whole thing uh, move over here. So this hammer will then knock on the gong to produce the sound. Understand? So this thing will knock on the gong uh, to produce the sound. When this one moves down, this thing magnet attract attract so it will hit on the gong to produce a sound but this one is only produced one time only you know how to make the sound continuously uh, now the, the story is like this huh? when this amateur soft iron amateur this thing move attracted move in uh, so you can see here uh, it broken already here open up already the contact open up the contact is cut off because when this hammer move in uh, we will move together with the amateur one, you know. The whole thing attract to the magnet. So this thing move, right? So this gap are uh, open up already. I mean the contact is not complete already. It's, it's already broken. So the current will stop. Okay? You see now? Uh, you attract, this thing come out, not one time only. Then here, the circuit broken already. So the current cannot go back. So no more current already. When no more current now, uh, this electromagnet disappeared immediately. This electromagnet, when no, no more current, uh, because this contact broken, uh, become this uh, moving now uh, here, open up already, no current already. No current, this electromagnet will suddenly collapse. So no more electromagnet. When no more electromagnet, uh, this spring will pull this thing, go back, uh, go back, contact again. You see or not? No current, just now no current. This thing, electromagnetic disappeared. 
So this spring will pull the whole thing go back. Uh, once it go back, it touches here again. Once it touches here, mean con contact again, uh, then the current can come again. Okay? When the current come again, this thing become magnet. So attract again. Once it's attract, here open up, no current. No current, this is no more magnet. So it go back. So this process will continue in out in out many many times so understand now okay it will continue this why you can continue produce a sound continuously la. because current got current here a track when i track we cut off the current here then no magnet it go back once it go back it contact again then the current come again when current come again it become magnet a track again so this thing will not go back knock go back very very fast uh. one second you will knock 50 times because the frequency of current is 50 in malaysia understand now uh? uh? so far can understand or not you guys uh? kirtana roughly you understand how this thing work or not mm. uh? parahana do you understand Huh? Okay, come, let's go through the notes here. Huh? Okay. You know it's a bit difficult. Huh? When the switch is pressed, uh, you press the switch, huh? the current flow through the solenoid. Okay, highlight. Current flow through the solenoid and the iron core is magnetized. You see? Current flow through the solenoid and this thing is magnetized, huh? become magnet. Correct or not? And the soft iron armature, this thing, uh, soft iron armature means this piece of thing, uh, yeah, this piece of thing, uh, together with the hammer. Yeah. The soft iron armature attracted to the electromagnet, uh, attracted here, right? So the hammer strike the gong, uh, and then the hammer hit the gong to use the sound, uh, thus ringing the bell. Understand? Okay, this is understand. Uh? After that, the spring contact move away from the contact. Move away. You see, uh, this thing move away. This piece and this thing together with the hammer move away. Then this contact no more already. No? When move away, so open up already. No more touching. Okay? The spring contact move away from the contact. Adjusting screw. Adjusting screw. Uh, now we have the whole thing. Uh, now we move away. So open up the gap. Okay, and break the circuit, uh, the circuit broken, no current already, lah, right? Then the iron core loses its electromagnetism. When no current already, no more electromagnetism. Lah. When no more electromagnetism, I cannot attract already, lah, so it will release the thing, go back. Lah. So the spring contact touches the screw again, so it go back, touches here again. And we mix the circuit, we connect the circuit, and the switches on the current. Then the cycle repeat as long as the switch is pressed. Understand? Yeah. So this is electric bell. Okay. So I only want to teach you and you hear only electric bell only. Huh? Okay. So far, you go later on, uh, you study the diagram, read the notes uh, to understand it, uh, electric bell. Uh. So you can see here, uh, this electric bell work using electromagnet. This thing become magnet to attract the hammer, to hit the gong to produce the sound, understand? So this is one of the example of the uses of electromagnet, understand? Yeah. So, so far, okay. Uh. I hope you all can understand. Uh, huh? I hope I don't go so fast. Uh, but of course, uh, you all need to... Okay, uh, let me say something to you all. Uh, huh? Based on, because of this uh, MCO, right? Okay, MCO things. Uh, we don't know when you all can go back to school. Uh, hopefully, the Form 5 maybe can go back to school by another two or three weeks. Uh, huh? You can go back. Only the Form 5 go back to school. Okay? okay? So we are not sure in our country the MCO now when it's going to be in 
and when this COVID-19 is going to end, right? Okay. So I hope every one of you, sir, you have to adapt to the new learning environment, you know, which is uh, using online class. I know some of you, you don't like online class, right? But no other choice really, you know, you have to adapt yourself to the new learning environment, which is uh, learning online. Like this, la. Huh? So, time is uh, moving very fast, but I hope you all don't waste your time, like you all continue to study at home, understand? If your teacher asks for online class or one, so you all please uh, follow, la, huh? okay? Don't treat it as holiday, you know, this is not holiday for you all, uh, please, huh? yeah. it's not holiday, nah. okay? Understand? Okay, print out the paper, Read again what I have what I have taught you today, okay? And I okay one more thing, sir. Huh? Starting this week, right? I will have a uh, online class for two days, you know, tonight and Thursday night. Okay, uh, Thursday night I will make it shorter, lah. Like, don't worry so much, lah. Like. I know if two days are uh, two days are uh, Tuesday and Thursday means uh, it's different lesson, or no? not the same lesson, lah. Uh, okay. If can you follow both lesson, Tuesday and Thursday, it's going to be different one, understand? Okay, if you really cannot make it right, I know some of you, you have other commitment, you cannot follow both day, you can only follow one day, right? Doesn't matter, okay? You cannot follow any day, so please follow the lesson in YouTube. I will upload, for every lesson I will record, I will upload into the YouTube. Please log into your YouTube the link. Uh, see the lesson through the video and learn, you know. Uh, okay? Then, uh, so I hope I can see you on Thursday again. Uh, if Thursday you cannot make it, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, so make sure Thursday lesson you follow on YouTube. Okay? Understand? Uh? Okay? Okay, nah, I think with that, Sony, I need to say that thank you to everyone nah, to follow my lesson here. Okay, that's all for tonight. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Ya, apa-apa ya. Okay, bye-bye.